YouTube, it's me again, Marie. Uh, as you can see, I'm having a lot more fun filming since now that I have a new camera. Uh, it's about time too because after watching so many amazing beauty gurus on YouTube and their amazing filming, and you know, I'm comparing it to my own, which is with, which was using a Mac webcam. I was getting really, you know, depressed. It was affecting my confidence. So I figured, you know what? I need to if I need to up the ante if I wanted to, you know, pr pr produce quality videos. So I'm back today. Uh, I wanted to share with you an unboxing. It's actually from Julep. I decided back in March to buy their spring mystery box. There's a lot of trouble receiving it. Um, strangely enough, I got it what felt like almost a month after ordering it. Um, March was a very weird month when it comes when it came to online shopping. My March box actually did a U-turn at the border, so it, by the time it reached Canadian borders, it went back to Seattle. Um, so they ended up sending me my March box, which I got last Monday. On Friday, I received my April box, but I had still not received my mystery box for spring. And I, I had spoken a few times with Julep. Their customer service is absolutely amazing. And they promised me had I not received it by April 5th, they would give me a refund. So I call them. They're giving me a refund. Ironically, today, <laughs> in the mail, the mystery box comes. But they were nice enough to tell me if you still get it. You know, you're welcome to keep it. Alas, the diamond rings were not in the box because there was also um, this contest. Um, you know, in one of the boxes there would be the diamond rings. I figured because I'm waiting so long, the diamond rings, mu earrings must be in there. It wasn't in there. But I still got some pretty nifty stuff, so I thought to share it with you. So, here is the box. It's very sleek. I really like it. And... It's wrapped up in nice pink tissue paper. So the first thing that I'm taking out of the box is their Julep One Step Polish Remover Pads. It's not focusing. Okay, it's focusing. Um, these are actually pretty handy for on the go if you like chip your nail polish. Personally, I have like this weird OCD. If I chip my nail polish, I kind of start getting a little bit crazy. So it's good to have these on hand uh, to just take it all off on the go. So that's good. The only thing, though, is that they put all 10 pads in one packet. So if I open it up, take one, you know, how am I going to make sure that the other ones don't dry out? You know what I mean? Next up are these really cool elastic hair ties. I actually got some of these with my January box, but these are really handy. I actually really prefer these over goody elastic hair bands. I really like these, and it comes in three bright neon colors. So you have fuchsia pink, neon orange, and neon green. Next up, there's also a julep nail file with julep. There we go. This is not bad. You can never have you can never have enough of these. Also, what I got was their julep American Beauty Volumizing Mascara. Uh, this was part of their American Beauty Maven collection, which was then re renamed Modern Beauty. So I'm one, actually, I'm more of a kind of a person who prefers lengthening mascaras, but we'll see how this one fares. At least it's black, because the lengthening one that they had on the website was brown, and I'm, you know, it's not really for me. I have dark features, black hair, black lashes. I wanted black mascara, so I was not expecting this, but, you know, I'm looking forward to trying it out. And now finally, the pièce de résistance, the nail polishes. I was a bit bummed out that I did not get five nail polishes as, every, as everyone else received in their mystery boxes, but what can you do, right? You can't have it all. So the first color, 
I'm pulling out of the bag is Portia. It's a glittery blue color. It reminds me of a Deborah Lippman color. Um, I think it's called Mermaid something or other. I don't know. So here you go. And this is Portia. It's not focusing. Okay, whatever. This is Portia. It's a nice color. It's nice for summer. Next one is Claire. This is a very interesting sky blue. I really like blue. Uh, aside from Moonlight, Moonlight, Moonlight Rendezvous from Deborah Littman, I, I've never worn blue on my nails, so this will be interesting. Again, another great color for summer. Then there is Parker, which is somewhat of a neon orange. I'm not really feeling this color. I don't see myself wearing this. Um, it looks a lot like the orange that I got in my April box. And last but not least, the mystery color, which is called Camille. It's from their Classic with a Twist. This is another glittery white pearlish color. My sister's going to get a real kick out of these glitters because she likes doing the whole accent nail with them. So she's going to enjoy this. And also what was in the boxes were a couple of chocolate eggs. These I'm going to enjoy. But again, I was just really bummed out that it took so long for me to get the box. But it's not julep. It's, you know, the postal services that are here and in the U.S. I don't know what happened. But, you know, I'm glad I finally got the boxes. Unfortunately, I didn't get the diamond earrings. But... We can't have it all. So that's pretty much it for the Julep Spring Mystery Box unboxing. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to comment below and I hope you guys like the picture. And um, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.